Well, Terra software is designed to empower lawyers from the first draft of a document through to the final delivery. And we want to simplify the way the legal profession is leveraging technology. We do this by providing software in one ecosystem that helps the document through the creation process, the proofreading review and check process, the collaboration process, as well as the publishing space. Now, when it comes to that creates process, Latera helps in a few different ways. We understand that the challenges law firms today face when creating documents is that they need to produce a fast and high quality first draft of a document, but that template creation requires document expertise rather than legal expertise, which is what our lawyers have. This can lead to content inaccuracies, inconsistencies in styling and formatting and branding, as well as reputational risk if there are remnants of prior work being copied and pasted into new documents. Our solution provides safe reuse and anonymization and revision, the ability to build templates on the fly, the ability to find, insert, and conform language, as well as recommend relevant content via practical guidance and metadata. This is going to empower your users and as ministers to manage your precedent and template documents and content. So what does this look like? Well, inside of Microsoft Word, I've got my Latera ribbon. If we picture that wheel we saw a second ago laid out across one word ribbon, we can kind of see it start coming together here. I've got my create tool, which we'll get into in a second, where I can create a new document. I can insert new content through my library. But let's focus on create. The first step is to create a new document. When I hit this create button, what pops open is an actual library of all of my templates. Here I've got my favorites. I can choose from a quick list of documents that I've marked as my favorite templates. I can go to my stuff and see what templates maybe I've created or the packets I've created as well. I can browse my letters and memos and other documents that the firm has created and put into a library of templates available for me to access. Now as I navigate back to my favorites, I've got a few different options on how I create something. I can create a letter right away, just say OK and get my template open with the task pane I need to fill in. I can create multiple documents as well, at once as well by checking them off. If I hit more, I can choose not only the order they appear, but also any saved data I may want to apply to these documents. We'll get back to that in a second. For now, I'm going to start off just creating a master services agreement, and I'll say OK. What this does is retrieves our template for us, and now sets up the variable editor for me as well. Now, as I pull this over from the other page it opened up on, I can see the template here living inside of Word, and I've also now got a task pane ready to fill in. I can add my author, which of course we can grant proxy rights, so I can draft as if I'm someone else in the firm if I need to. I can add my date, insert the company name as well. When it comes to the agreement signature, we can build in different options for how the signature is input, or in a letter, how the letterhead looks, whether it's an electronic or digital letter or something like that. Now, I mentioned the ability to apply and save data. Maybe I've already created the data using a master data form for this contract. I'll say, let's apply some data. Now, I've got a master services agreement data set ready to go. I'll say, OK. We can see this is filled in all the data fields for me. And now I can go ahead and say finish, or I can say finish and show library, which takes us into step two of the Platera Create process. This will now build this document for me with the fields that I had said to fill in, ready to go. I've now got my brand new template here, and it opens up then my content library. So the Latera Create platform is two parts. It's not only the document creation, but it's also a content library. In here, I can see my content, clauses that I've saved off and I know I use often and will reuse in the future. We've got enterprise templates and shared content folders as well, areas where our team can store content in. Our administrators can put firm precedent language in so I can easily access. And then I can share with the rest of my team and people that I'm working with. Now, in this particular document, maybe my client's asking for a number of payment terms or disclosures or something to be added in. We make it really simple to do. Let's start off by saying maybe we need in here a deposit clause see the kind of information down there and actually we'll start with the disclaimer so I'll go ahead create this new section we'll do disclaimer unbold that and let's go ahead and insert this using the source formatting and what we see 
is the actual clause that I've created in the past was easily inserted into my new document. Now maybe we have a clause that has some client specific information. In it. This one, if we take a quick preview at it, we can see there's a couple of placeholders in there. There's a deposit, maybe an amount or a percentage, and so on. With this one, if I go ahead and insert using source formatting into this vendor's obligation or the payment terms section, what we see is that there's a variable editor being set up for this particular clause. There are two fields I need to fill in. One, the deposit amount, we'll say $500, 5000 and the deposit percentage, let's say 50000 50, or 50% of the deposits due at that time. I can go ahead and say finish. And what we will see is this deposit clause is inserted into my document, adheres to the structure and style, and the contents inserted. So what we've done, we've created a template. We've applied the same data that we've stored off from a different source. And now we've brought in content from our clause library to quickly and easily make sure this document is exactly what we need it to be.